Lithimian's a notorious little nuisance for the wicked in Lithine. Lethadel Unduli, at the dawn of his second coming into Sohal, would learn that quite quick. What of Lithimian? He'd ask one man with knowledge of the underworld. I keep hearing he's quite good at what he does. To which the man would sum up Lithimian quite nicely. Yes, the underworld's biggest little nemesis. Many have tried to kill Lithimian over the years, and the Master of the Eclipse and Miracle Maiden considered this isn't all too surprising. In Eclipse, we see Lithimian survive a hit planned out by Lethadel Unduli and General Mermadak. In Miracle Maiden, we see Lithimian, ironically with Mermadak as an ally, survive a deadly hit taken out by the most powerful man in the underworld. Lord Keras. And then, of course, there's the Nathanir plus Clorjin incident that hit the wall in Venendu. With so many events we got to see is something, also, we heard about from Lithimian in Miracle Maiden. Something leading to a fascinating truth. Suri and I followed right behind. I ran up beside him, where he beat me to the punch with words. Me and Loshki get along face to face, he said. We always have. You still don't seem big on him, even though he seems big on you. Well, that's because he can't take no for an answer. He wants me to join with them, just like Miyune does. Doesn't stop him from going behind my back to get me killed, though. going behind my back to get me killed. Interesting choice of words. The inference here is crucial to our point. Loshki, Lethadel, Mermadak, Karas, and Klojen. What do they all have in common here? None tried to kill Lithimian with their own hands. One does not simply... But, one person has taken matters into their own hands. Something interesting that very few actually know about Miyune is her custom to keep secretly armed at all times and her history of training with Loshki. Consequently, if she has someone alone, she always has a good chance to do something a little crazy because nobody ever takes Lady Listel as a murder threat. Lithimian, however, and especially now you can understand the odd air that circles around Miyune and Lithimian whenever they're around each other. In The Master of the Eclipse, Chapter 25, The Impossible Meeting. An otherwise stray piece of dialogue becomes much more fascinating. From page 208, if you're reading a physical copy, I know Miyune won't tell us the truth about either, he said. Lithimian? Miyune cried. Where are your manners? Have you forgotten whose house this is? I'm unfortunately like most sinful men, he replied. I have trouble trusting people who've tried to kill me. That was half a decade ago. Half a decade ago, half a week ago, it's all the same. It is not all the same! Miyune cried again, slamming a hand onto the table. And putting yourself in Lithimian's shoes, those words, I have trouble trusting people who've tried to kill me, becomes quite the, yeah, gee, I got you, sort of statement. Easy to relate to, huh? Miyune literally pulled a knife on him that, one, fateful day. She would have gone all the way without mercy if he hadn't gotten a hold of her wrist in the nick of time. This even leads away to why Lady Listel said to Kea about Lithimian's fighting power. Trust the words I say to you, he will be special once he finds himself. She'd seen his ability to make unnatural split-second defensive actions before. Something Kea would also see later in chapter 25, to the death. On one last thought, 
we double back to chapter 25 of The Master of the Eclipse. That cursed, stale sense of humor. Luthimian reached over, picked up a piece of meat from Miune's plate, and just stuffed his mouth. She just glared at him. I could tell they genuinely did have a history together. The chemistry said so. He came to his feet and started to walk off. Lithimian trusts Miyu so much, or, uh, well, I guess so little, that he'd only eat food off her personal plate, specifically. Knowing that even though Miyune had no issue feeding someone else poison, she sure wasn't going to kill herself. That was the real reason Miyu glared back at him, because she caught the insinuation. There are so many little things like this that connect together. And really, the lore of Lethine, the love and care that goes into it, is something that primes it to be such a powerhouse before long. Thank you all so much for watching, and you met me out.